Ukraine's President Petro Poroshenko has made his first visit to Washington since being elected in May. He arrived with a mission to show solidarity with the West and a request for U.S. military support. CCTV White House correspondent Jessica Stone has details. Of the global fight for democracy. In an impassioned plea before the U.S. Congress, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko called on Americans to arm Ukrainian soldiers against the Russian-backed separatists fighting in eastern Ukraine. Blankets, night vision goggles are also important, but one cannot win the war with the blankets. All right. Even before he finished speaking and headed to the Oval Office to meet with U.S. President Barack Obama, the White House announced it would give Ukraine $46 million, not in military weapons, but in military protective gear. Items like body armor, radar, radios, anti-mortar equipment, and yes, night vision goggles. We are providing additional assistance, both economic and security assistance to Ukraine to make sure that uh, not only are they able to weather this storm economically, but they're also uh, going to be able to uh, continue to build up uh, an effective security force to defend themselves from uh, aggression. The White House has said previously it would be a challenge to provide all the necessary military equipment to level the battlefield between Ukrainians and Russian-backed fighters. Kiev is accusing Moscow of massing about 4,000 troops on the Crimea-Ukraine border, rattling nerves just as President Poroshenko prepared to meet U.S. counterpart Barack Obama. For now, Poroshenko leaves without what he says he needs to defeat the separatists. I am satisfied with the level of the, our cooperation with the United States of America in the defense and security sector. I cannot say more, but I am satisfied. Everything you want. Yeah. Yeah. Everything Sorry. I get in in everything possible. Slava Ukraini! But as he spoke to supporters outside the White House Thursday, Poroshenko was already getting backing on Capitol Hill where the Senate Foreign Relations Committee voted to authorize 350 million U.S. dollars to arm and train his forces. The real backbone of U.S. aid to Ukraine, though, is in the form of economic aid and a $1 billion loan guarantee that the Ukrainians are just beginning to take advantage of. Meantime, we also learned Thursday that the Ukraine will welcome a team of Americans to work on energy issues, a fundamental part of the Ukrainian economy. Jessica Stone, CCTV at the White House.